Hey guys, Songo here with another video. Once again, featuring Path of Exile. I went ahead and skipped forward, what, two acts? Two act four? So that, um, mostly because I really wanted to play and it was nighttime. So what I, excuse me, I originally did was start up a new character in the Talisman League and I was going to play that for the remainder er, it couldn't have been more than just two minutes uh, no one minute we'll end this at 7 30 uh, so yeah <clears throat> I tried that and I got to where I left off on episode 3 and I was just so dissatisfied with it having no damage because uh, this game does not hand out any useful loot because you're supposed to trade for it you know instead of playing you have to spend you know, one of the complaints I have about the design of this game, but, yeah, right. So I basically decided, yeah, if the, if anyone watching this actually wants me to play uh, from where I left off, even though it's the uh, Acts 3, and two are kind of boring. They receive like no reworks in a year. So yeah. Well, there were a couple content updates which gave little lore fluff stuff to um them, but overall it's nothing really worth even watching but I guess the people who are who would watch this anyway might not mind and uh, I've already cleared out this area but uh, well it's act four it's kind of cool so I want to go over it uh, so there's this mini boss who clones himself which is incredibly frustrating. But, uh. Fucking hell. But, yeah. And has a charge up arrow thing, which I don't think is actually available to any of the player classes, or players. I'm fairly sure. Then again, I don't find uh, bow and arrow to be particularly fun in this game, so I may just be behind the times. So. Oh, look, and we're at the actual boss over here. Uh, if you could hear his saying, death to sin. Uh, you... no. Well... What? Okay, it's not over here then. I heard it coming from the right. Oh, right here, right here. Uh, yeah. Giant guy, fall. I've already killed him, but I'm going over this because it's... One of the more interesting fights in this game. Unfortunately, he's mostly just a big uh, bullet sponge. But I, yeah. Kind of fun to have to evade all of this and slamming down. <clears throat> Uh, so, let's go over what actually changed while uh, I was not recording overnight. 
Right. Why was I not recording at night? Because people like to sleep. And although I may have insomnia, others don't, and I... I'm picking up blue items again. While on camera. Goddamn. Ugh. So, I actually want to give them respect and let them sleep. So I don't record from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, so yeah. And I didn't record this earlier because, well, quite simply that, uh, when you've only got one build and you play it for a couple hours, it kind of gets Starts getting repetitive if there's nothing really interesting going on. I like how I'm just dancing around the strong box and not actually uh, doing it, but everything's coming in from all around. Can you blame me? So, uh, how about we actually talk about what's changed? Well, first of all, he was... Would he go away, please? Oh, look, a turtle. A turtle. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, uh, so that's a distraction. Uh, so basically, I just went ahead and got stuff from my stash. It wasn't really fun to be a slow and zero damage character. Although my damage was kind of respectable. But yeah. Because no matter how much you loot, you will find absolute jack shit in this game. You have to just trade. And considering they have only the only support they have for trading is an off a out of game forum for trading. Yeah, fun. But they said they'd be putting in an auction house. Yay. Yeah. Anyway, so what's changed? Uh, I have this, which increases my move speed by a total of forty percent. Which is fairly noticeable. Would you guys leave me alone and let me talk? I'm not doing anything to you. Thank you. So, uh, and more mana regen. Yay. But most importantly, I have this Tabula Rasa, which is useless, except that it's a 6-link with white sockets, which means it can equip all of the colors. So, <clears throat> and I have it equipped to Contagion and Essence Drain, because I am lacking one of the supports that I really want, and should get uh, here soon. I think. So, lesser multiple projectiles, which makes my thingy, uh, seriously, I've just killed you guys. Would you please go away? Which lets my essence drain, uh, shoot out three things, which is, I mean, it, the gem itself as a multiplicative reduction and seriously where are all these things coming from jesus christ i uh, anyway it's got a multiplicative reduction in damage but the actual convenience of being able to shoot, shoot more than one is kind of nice so yeah I'm taking it. Controlled reduction, or controlled destruction. It makes it so I basically can't crit. 
unless I build for crit chance, in which case you probably do not want to use controlled destruction. Uh, in exchange for a flat multiplicative increase in spell damage, uh, marked by the more <laughs> contagion, er, yeah. Contagion is getting benefits from some of this, but I'll go over that later. Void manipulation reduces elemental damage, which I am not using, to increase multiplicatively uh, chaos damage, which I am using. And empower, which just improves the level of spells even more. So, Contagion gets the benefits of all of those because it's also linked in here, except for lesser multiple projectiles, because it's not a projectile, it's an area, so it's not applicable. Wow, I think I just spent five minutes going over what's changed, or maybe even ten. Holy crap. Well, let's finish this off. So you saw the boss. Let's finish this off with um, a strong box. <clears throat> Pretty huge strong box. Wow. I thought it only said 3 pack X of monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. With... No? Okay, well. Yay. Useless loot. Uh, I still like to hoard stuff. So, uh, when we kick off next episode, uh, we'll be going up through this mountain, the mines, and do stuff, well, mostly in ca involving mass genocide, but yeah, have fun and have a good day.